welcome back to my channel or to much new viewers once again hopefully you guys are doing well if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon press all to get notification for all my upcoming videos so in this video i will talk regarding the mercenaries versus the commercial pilots or aviation field whatever you can call them so it's a basically a comparison video so i have made this video or i have divided this video into few subtopics and so as per topics i will move forward okay so i have noted down something first we we'll start with the job duration very important job duration in merchant navy will get around seven to eight months on job on at sea have to be there and uh, for uh, crew maybe nine months and for senior most rank it will be like four to six months but commercial pilot is a 12 month job but you can come back to your home uh, after fly after your flying time or whatever it is called i don't know so but uh, in merchant navy you have to stay there till seven to eight months until unless if anything goes wrong and you want emergency sign off okay you cannot come back home at afternoon or evening time but another thing advantage is there over in machine with that when you will be at home like three to four months it is completely your holiday every day will be sunday okay so that is the thing now we'll talk regarding the pressure pressure means uh, which job makes you feel more pressure both are very prestigious and glamorous job but i feel machinery is if you compare the pressure in machinery pressure is more because you have to stay on board at a stretch seven to eight months especially in this scenario you feel that there is no shore leave you have to stay on board at all times but in commercial pilot life nothing like that so you can roam around here and there so that is the thing even when he can come back home he can at least roam around right so pressure is more in machine navy now we'll talk regarding the course free absolutely before both this uh, profession you joining before uh, you have to do some certain courses okay if you want to know regarding machine navy courses you can search on my channel all the videos have been already made so if you want to be a machine navy officer or a marine engineer then the least amount is six to seven lakhs for dns and for bsc it will be around 20 lakhs and for marine engineering also 20 lakhs but if you want to become a pilot become a pilot then it will start around 50 lakhs to 75 lakhs means the course fee difference is huge huge investment okay initially risk i feel in merchant navy risk is less if you compare with the aviation field or a commercial pilot definitely in air if anything goes wrong very difficult to survive there is no denying fact and i think you will all will be in same page with me so risk factor is more in aviation field always remember now so job duration covered pressure course fee risk is covered now we will talk regarding the salary part <coughs> most important in the salary part for gp rating means the, the crew ratings the most lowest ranks in the machinery at least get 1 to 1.5 lakhs okay and in aviation field like cabin crew used to get 50 to 60 thousand per month all the salary based on per month okay please note so if you compare still in lower ranks also machinery will get a age over it okay in the case of salary but if you compare with the salary with a machinery captain and a pilot then also there will be difference a machine navy captain used to get 10 to 15 lakhs as a master per month but a pilot used to get 2 to 7 lakhs if you are very experienced pilot then only used to get if you compare with the chief officer of the machine navy and the first officer or trainee pilot whatever not trainee pilot is known as first officer so if you compare then in machine navy chief officer used to get 6 to 7 lakhs but first officer in uh, aviation field used to get three to four lakhs so still there is difference so if you compare salary much navy will be way ahead okay another thing advantage in aviation field the salary is taxable okay but in machine navy salary is not taxable completely free salary you don't need to pay a single penny of tax if you stay outside of your country at least 183 days okay as 
I am talking about the salary. What's the name people used to get? NRI status or non residential Indian. But for pilot, there is no don't no, no NRI status or something like that. Okay. So salary part, if you ask me, much Navy will be way ahead if you compare with the pilot. Now, after selling and after aviation, what is the options you are having? As a much Navy officer or engineer, you will have a short job means in port or something like that. You can do the short job. You can be a maritime pilot. Okay. If you don't know what is maritime pilot, you can go and check in my channel. You can teach any kind of maritime training institute or any marine college. Okay. Apart from that, you can be a surveyor. Okay. Class surveyor or MMD surveyor, whatever you can do. These all factors you can do after your sea career is over. And for pilot is concerned, pilot can be a flying instructor or he can also teach in aviation colleges so these options are there okay and if i am not sure about more options after if you quit the flying uh, flying so if you know please let me know in the comment section so these are the compares uh, comparison video regarding the pilot versus the much navy officer so i think i have covered all the points if i missed something please let me know in the comment section over to you and if i uh, tell you something wrong if i told you something wrong then also you can rectify me because in aviation field my knowledge is very limited okay so maybe i am wrong if anyone watching this video from aviation please field please let me know if i told something or i have uh, shared some information wrong or misinformation i have shared okay it's all based on the internet okay so the, now final verdict if you are aspirant or in class 12 so which field you want to choose see it depends on to you both the fields have their pros and cons so no field is exempted from that advantage disadvantage will be there so if you feel like to fly you go for the aviation field if you feel stay on ship stay on sea if you love sea then you can join the merchant navy but as per the salary is concerned merchant navy salary is higher okay so thank you guys for watching i will not elongate this video more thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video and press all to get notification for all my upcoming videos thank you guys for watching see you in my next video signing off for the day